Okay, good morning guys. So welcome to Sakurama. So in this video, I'm gonna take you around Sakurama and show you what it's like. Um, to be honest, the waves have been really, really shit. <laughs> the first two days I got here was just after the QS. I thought I'd get here just after it so I can actually get my own waves. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go surfing today. I think the waves are really, really small again. Gonna grab the bike. This looks like a beautiful day outside, so yeah, just riding usual mayhem so yeah i ride five nine um two and a quarter 27 liters this one so yeah i basically ride this in yeah all conditions <laughs> i get into the habit of just using one board in everything um i guess some people like to change boards like basically every session depending on what the waves are like but um yeah i like to have lots of different boards but <laughs> to get into that habit of just riding one just gonna get sun creamed up, waxed up, and I'll see you guys at the beach. Right, so, made it to the beach, basically flat and on a short board. Don't think I'm gonna be able to get going. <laughs> But yeah, this is um, Sakurama. The beach, as you know, this this place hosts like the CT and the QS now, which is pretty insane. I think like normally it's a like a pretty consistent beach break, um, but coming into like the main part of summer, it does go flat a little bit. Like the last few days here has been basically unsurfable. So up in that direction is Ituna, where they have the event basically or where they have had where they have the event mostly that's where you see like those wedgy lefts and like short punchy rights um, but this side of the beach is called Barinha so Barinha oh it's a little right there wow could just surf that one sick could be on um, so Barinha is where you, I don't know if you guys have seen like footage of like full right barrels um, that happened believe it or not just there where those rocks are um, there's a wicked uh, stab video I'll put the link in the description um, where guys are just getting chewed off that rock off those rocks um, I'd love to surf it like that but <laughs> I think it's the wrong time of year so there's actually a little right just here um, so I'm gonna go and surf that water's super clear you can get going on this out there it's kind of see what this next one does kind of a little right all right can i can surf that oh dreamy i think i've surfed worse waves before so How's the water colour? Oh yeah? Fuck. Oh. I forgot to wax up, so... Goodbye to the skin on my knees. Well, you know what they say, there's no such thing as bad waves, just bad attitude and bad equipment. Definitely got the wrong equipment, <laughs> but all right, that's the truth.
yeah, um, just come in from from that surf then. Um, obviously not that great, but just such an amazing morning. I just had to get out there. Um, just been cracking on with some work. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a copywriter. Um, I just make videos in my spare time. Um, but yeah, most of my day <laughs> is generally spent working, um, which is good because I like my work. It's, I'm going to be making more videos about what I do because, you know, I didn't go to college or have like a formal education like that kind of self-taught. And I'd love to be able to show you guys how you can work online the same as me and be able to travel and surf full time as well. So stay tuned for that. Been traveling all year mostly in hostels. So so nice this week just to have my own bit of space got, if you're coming to Sakurama, i'll leave the link to it down in the description the work done for the morning gonna go and show you around Sakurama. so there isn't much to the town to be honest it's really it's pretty small especially when you compare it to rio um if you haven't checked out that video already i'll leave it up there but rio is obviously super busy super hectic so coming here is like night and day you know it's really chill here uh, not much going on. You just kind of come here to relax and to surf. So I'm gonna jump on the bike and I'll see you. haven't explored what this place has to offer. Super beautiful, there's so many more beaches than I thought. Just here like on the headland where the chapel is. Um, yeah, it's stunning, it's like the white sands. Yeah, such a nice day. <laughs> Makes me realize I should have been doing more exploring. Like I didn't even know this beach was here. Yeah, it's just like heaps of families playing and cruising. Pretty cool. Oh, the view is so cool from around here. I haven't even seen this town from this perspective. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of been surfing like just in the middle. It's been really average to be honest, like back, pretty backwashy and small. Um, and yeah, the backwash is like way gnarlier than what it looks on the, the webcast. Like those guys who surf it well are so good at negotiating it. Like when you surf it yourself, You'd be like doing a turn, think you've got a really good section. Like say like this is the section, go to do a turn and the backwash hits you and just go, you just go flying. So like how those guys negotiate it is, yeah, it makes you appreciate it, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed following me around Sakurama. Um, didn't get the waves I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for some, yeah, way bigger, like wedgy lefts and rights, but um, you know, it's summer here, so waves weren't too great but weather's been good I've had my own place managed to get loads of work done um, which is cool so um, my next video is going to be heading to Europe so day after tomorrow or tomorrow night I'm booked on a flight to go back to Europe so my plan is to see the fam and then fly to wherever the waves are good um, feel a little bit wave starved here at the moment like I've been surfing every day and it's been super warm and nice but not really surf pumping waves for a while so yeah, can't wait to get to Europe. Really excited to get some waves and chase a few swells. So yeah, I'll see you guys in Europe.